Mike Whitney, we spoke earlier about age differences. Now, does experience and maturity play a big part in this? Well, they can, Kimbo. It's, it's a bit like the old tortoise and the hare. Now, we've got one of our challengers who's been well off the pace in both her heats and seen her opponents race away from her, but she's been the one who's got through the paper burst first. Exactly. So sometimes it's the old steady as she goes <laughs> gets you home first. Well, there is nothing steady about this next game. It's called Suspension Bridge, and it's up next. Winners of the semi-final will receive... ...to knock your opponent off, but to get to the other side. However, the gladiators aren't about to wave you through. Suspension Bridge. Ten points if you make it across the bridge without being dispatched by the gladiator. Our first female challenger has never played this game before. Let's welcome Sandra. <laughs> Up against our gladiator, Flame. And to start suspension bridge, here's Mike Whitney. Challenger! Are you ready? As Kimberly said, Sandra ready? hasn't played suspension bridge Are before, but we all know Flame Three, has. Two, one. Sandra running straight in, Flame's also straight in. She disorientates Sandra with a quick swipe from the left. She's off, no points. Well, you need the replay to appreciate Flame's method of dispatching Sandra. Flame leaning forward, putting all her weight into the blows. Sandra's on one foot, now she's on two, but on the mats. Sandra? Short and sweet, but I don't think there was anything too sweet about it for you. No, I think it was psychological after last time I met Flame. And um, I think I was just a bit too worried about it. That's probably why I couldn't get myself together. So what, you were standing there on the platform before the whistle went thinking, I don't want to do this. <laughs> exactly right. I really, I really wasn't ready to go up against Flame again, but um, no credit for me. She's fantastic. Absolutely. Well done. Well, let's have a big round of applause for Sandra. No points there, I'm afraid. Sandra Flame. Your reputation precedes you. Mike, do you think there'll ever be a challenger that's lucky enough to make it across my bridge? Well, there's the challenge for you. Any potential challengers out there that want to come and take Flame on, on the suspension bridge, get in touch with the Syria Gladiators. Let's have a big round of applause for Flame. And now in this semi-final round, let's welcome to suspension bridge for the very first time, Catherine. And her opponent, Glacia. Here's Mike Whitney. Hey! Catherine's a very hey! strong woman, as we wow. saw in Gauntlet and on the wall. And I reckon Glacia will have her hands full tonight. Helmet camera showing us that there's some big hits being thrown by Glacia. The judo expert fighting back for Glacia. Some big blows as she slipped. And Catherine has done it again. Catherine, what an unbelievable game. It's not very often that somebody gets a gladiator off the suspension bridge. However, before we start, I want to have a chat to Mike Whitney. OK, we've had to have a look at the replay because John Forsythe and I thought that Catherine may have actually pushed Glacier off the bridge, which is against the rules of suspension bridge. Right. She didn't do that. She actually was half jabbed her off, and I think Glacier slipped as well. OK. But you must have your hammerhead with you when you get to the other side of the bridge. And Catherine didn't do that. So does that mean five, five points? Five points. Well, not such a bad effort anyway. Five points, Catherine. You proud of yourself? Um, yeah. Uh, I think the judo techniques are always coming in handy in these games somehow. Yeah, well, Glacier put in um, a few big hits and I managed to give it, get a bit of a jab to the body. And I think I was just being a little bit too cocky and tried to be, a, you know, a gladiator and throw my stick down. and. And um, unfortunately, I came unstuck, so um, I'll try not to do that again. Well, in all the excitement, you didn't manage to complete it with your hammerhead. Glacier, how was that fall? It all happened so quickly up there. It sure did, but to her credit, one, two, and I was off. Well, Catherine was too excited with beating Glacier. She forgot the stick and only picked up five, but that gives her a seven and a half second lead in the Eliminator. It's time for the first of our male challenges now. Let's welcome Paul. He's up against Hammer. Let's start the game. Here's Mike Whitney. Challenger, are you ready? Paul fought Predator ready last ready? time on the bridge and lost. Ready? Will the Aussie rules hey. man get a goal hey. this time round? 
Well, a slow start. Hammer certainly showing the Queensland bricklayer a lot of respect. Hammer sending Paul backwards and nearly off the bridge. Paul trying to fight back, but look at this. Some big hits there from Hammer, and Paul's still there, but Hammer's hammer hit isn't. Paul's won it. And Linda, Aaron and Jay are loving every minute of this. Well, let's watch how it happened. Hammer and Paul putting everything into each blow. Hammer loses his grip, Paul's the winner. Paul, just before we start, Mike Whitney, there was a bit of confusion there. Well, I don't know why these challengers want to keep throwing <laughs> their hammerhead away. But in this case, it didn't matter. Hammer lost his hammerhead. Okay. So he's ruled out of the game. Ten points to the challenger. Ten points. Paul, that's just what you wanted to hear, isn't it? Yeah, pretty lucky, I think. I think so, because you're going into the Eliminator next. Now, uh, Shane's on ten at the moment. However, he hasn't played suspension bridge yet. Are you confident now about the Eliminator? No, Shane's probably the most fiercest competitor here, so you need all the start you can get against him. However, you've got a pretty good time, so uh, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm hoping so. Good one. Hammer, if ever there was a game made for you, you've got your hammerhead there, but uh, you threw it down this time. Usually the games works better when you've got the hammer in your hand, but, I mean, you can't take anything away from Paul. I mean, he's been a competitor through the whole series, and, uh, I mean, the ten points will certainly keep me in good stead for the Eliminator. Challenger on suspension bridge is Shane. Up against the almighty Vulcan. Shane has a lot to try for. He needs to get the maximum score here, but Vulcan has a devastatingly good record on the bridge. Vulcan oh so cocky, he just strolls into beat Shane. Shane defends him first up, and Vulcan swipes him sideways. Shane staggers, scrambles back somehow, and I don't know how. He's got a cross, he's got ten. Oh, you beauty! Well, the crowd loved it, Shane loved it, but what does Mike Whitney think? Mike? We've had a long uh, look at, at the instant replay. The rules of this game say you are not allowed to push anybody off the suspension bridge. Shane was trying to get past Vulcan and on the way through, shouldered him off the suspension bridge. Disqualified, no points. Shane, you desperately needed those 10 points to catch up with Stubbsy. There's a 10 point difference between you now. Makes it real tough, but uh, it's good to see the big fella go down. Ha! <laughs> off goes Shane, with a bit of attitude. Vulcan. Not very often we see you flying through the air. You know, Hammond, never ever get beaten on the bridge. Only thing that little weed have to do is push me. Hey, I will never get beaten. You can push me, but you can never beat me, all right? Well, Vulcan reckons he can't be beat. Shane, unfortunately, missed out on his 10, but Paul's 10 now gives him a five-second lead going into the Eliminator. 